Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Y6 from 2019 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. Now when you get it for the first time and you boot it up, you'll be presented with a welcome screen as it is visible right now. And from here simply select your language, which for me it's already selected with the correct one. But you can select any other one from the list and then tap on get started. Then. You have select region, so obviously select your region and then tap on next. Now we have terms of use, make sure you select it right here to agree to it. Now if you want to actually read what you're agreeing to, you can tap on the details and read the entire thing right here, as you can see. And once you're done, simply go back and tap on next. Without that, you can't really progress any further. Then we have data import, so you can copy your all data from an old device to this one and you have two different options we have from android from iphone from huawei cloud backup or google cloud backup now there's also a way you can copy it from uh, well, using the their app that they have specifically for huawei uh, now the huawei devices come preloaded with it but if you have a non-huawei device you can download it from play store uh, it just will be a little bit more limited and you will only be able to copy data from the old device to the huawei device not the other way around but i'm going to be setting it up as new so i'm going to tap on next right here and then we have connect to network so this is optional if you don't want to you can tap on skip but you know what i'm going to connect to it quickly so let me put in password for it and then connect and from here let's tap on next Now from here you can either log into your Google account if you want to or skip it. I'm gonna choose to skip it just to save on time. And from here we have Google services. We have services like location, scanning and send user and diagnostic data. You can disagree to all of them if you want to by checking them off, but things like location will be required by some apps like Google Maps. And when you launch them, it will ask you to turn it on. So. Uh, you can disable it later on you can enable it through the notification panel if you need to so let's tap on accept and from here we have the huawei id now again this is just a huawei account which will give you access to a couple of their uh, their apps like you can see the um, huawei cloud the uh, app gallery i believe it's called uh, some wallet health and other stuff now this again is completely optional and you can skip this and once you actually want to use those apps you can then create or log in uh, to their account and then as you can see this is the cloud so i'm gonna skip this device protection now we can set up some kind of protection to the device and we have different options so we have the face unlock and also the pen pattern password option so I'm gonna go with both of them. If you choose to face unlock, you will actually be forced to set up a pin pattern or password anyway. So let's change the method to pattern. Try it, redraw it up and down, and now it should open up the camera. So let's get that right now. Agree. And there we go. Okay, I guess it did get it. Yep, there we go. So from here, um, we have enhanced services, set up enhanced services, or you can skip this if you're wondering what that is. Obviously, you can read it here. I go with no thanks. We don't need to agree to that. Then keep your keep your software up to date. Uh, enable and continue. This will enable the automatic update, or you can update manually, um, which I believe does still nothing. Um, so yeah, once you select that, you should be then in the home screen with the device being fully set up. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.